Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another uh, my mini recipe. Um, I'm making dark chocolate fudge with cherry pie filling in it. Now this was a recipe I always used to make for my residence um, at the senior home that I used to work in before I retired. Of course I didn't make it like this, I baked it in the oven. And I also, um, I would uh, sometimes frost them, sometimes not, but I would always put a, a dollop of whipped cream on top for them, which they really enjoyed that. So anyway, that's what we're making today. Um, I don't know if you've seen where I did the cornbread in the My Mini and the carrot cake in the My Mini. Um, I don't know what else I did in it. Anyways, that's what we're doing today. So, I already got my batter made. Got my cherries in there and everything. I'm just gonna put some, I'm gonna put some, uh, grease my pan today. And let that heat up a little bit. So anyway, I'm making these just for myself. I'm a little piggy. Um, I want to point out the tip that I usually always say. Um, I always mix my eggs and my water and oil. Uh, I always do that first in the bottom. And then I gradually add um, the whatever I'm happy to be making. Um, cake mix, brownie mix, cornbread, you know. Because that way there, you know, sometimes you get stuck with the uh, cake mix and whatever on the bottom and you know you know what I'm talking about I don't have to explain it so anyway uh, I don't know how many this is gonna make today because I added the uh, cherry pie filling so we're gonna find out how much it's gonna make today so letting that heat up a little bit oh also today uh, I put um coconut oil in my batter because I'm kind of low on oil and I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing another recipe another video in a little while so I need the oil for that because I haven't went to the store yet so let's put some in here now I don't know how long these are going to take because of the cherries but of course, I'm going to put you on hold as usual while they cook because I'm not going to talk for, you know, all through the cooking process. So, yeah. And I want to, when I go to the store, I want to pick up some um, chocolate morsels, mint flavored, so I can make some fudge. All right, so we put that in. I think I put about three scoops in and just going to put the lid on that and I'm just going to go oh so anyways as you most of you know um, I like cooking in my mini I have a stove I just haven't used it in years because I have all you know I have the all the mini stuff the egg things the sandwich maker the griddle all that stuff I have a crock pot electric frying pan and a hot plate. What else do I have? Oh, I think that covers it. I have all that stuff because I feel like, well, me being one person anyway, I feel like it just costs too much money to fire up the stove. So, and this is good for if you're camping and stuff, you know. And another thing for the brownies anyway, you know, when you make your brownies and they're, you know, you hate cutting those brownies in, in the pan, don't you? I know I always did. So yeah, we're gonna see how they come out in this. So I'm gonna stop uh, yapping right now and put you guys on pause and I'll be back. Okay, so I kind of been waiting for this one to cool. I took it out. There it is. I wanna cut it open so you could see it, but it's still hot. So I got another one in. So I'm going to make a couple more and then I'm going to come back when this is cooled and um, cut it open and show it to you. 
think that was three scoops. So yeah, it did come out flat. It didn't rise like the cake mix does. So I will be back. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm gonna cut this video short before I make all of them because I have unexpected company. So here's the one that's cooled. I don't know if you can see it. And that one over there, I uh, cut that up and tested it and it tastes really good. So I'm going to continue cooking these and I'll take a picture at the end um, so you can see how many brownies are actually made. Um, and I'm going to go visit with my company. So everybody have a great day. Leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. Bye.